This episode of Android Authority is brought to you by Full Sail University. Welcome back to Android Weekly. My name is Jace, and this past week saw some confusing news surrounding the Samsung Galaxy S5 and its cousin, the Samsung Galaxy S5 Active. You see, they're almost the same phone with almost the same specs. Kind of. You see, Samsung's trying to make a rugged version of the S5 by making the Active have a rubber material around the edge of the phone. I can think of some better uses for that rubber, like strapping it on and using it to pick off the herds of eye sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Now you may laugh at that, but don't forget that the original S5 was made to look like this. Yeah, a flexible band-aid. So it's not much of a stretch to think that Samsung is going to rely on the rubber to differentiate. You know, we make fun of Apple for making the iPhone 5 and then the iPhone 5S with just a little spec bump. What is this Samsung, a rubber bump? A rubber does not a new phone make. From the looks of things and various leaks we've gathered thus far, the S5 Active will support a 5.2 inch 1080p display and a 2.5 gigahertz quad-core processor with two gigabytes of RAM and Android 4.4 KitKat with a 2800 milliamp hour battery. Sound familiar? Yes, it looks a lot like the original S5. So what is the point? Why would Samsung do this? Well, Samsung has a history of a shotgun approach. Try everything, see what works. And if that weren't enough, there's another version of the Samsung Galaxy S5. It's called Prime. The device in question features a metallic frame, possibly made of aluminum. The overall shape is very similar to the original S5, though the phone in the shots appears to be slightly thicker and wider. Another change is the placement of the speaker on the bottom side of the phone beside the USB port, as opposed to the back, like on the standard S5. Now you should know that although this is a rumor for Rob Shake from Sam Mobile has verified that these photos are genuine, they are real, he just can't confirm if it is the Prime or the Active or even a Galaxy family phone. So we'll just have to wait and see. I could not make this up if I tried because clearly Samsung and HTC are not talking about naming conventions because HTC also has a Prime. Apparently, it's rumored to come out with an HTC Prime M8. As expected, the Prime M8 refers to the components Snapdragon 810 and a 2.5 gigahertz with a 5.5 inch display with three gigabytes of RAM. Now you should know that Evie Leaks did correct himself by saying it was not the Snapdragon 810, but the Snapdragon 805, but that's not all. HTC's executive Jeff Gordon challenged EV Leaks' credibility by saying, in the past few days, a well-known leaker has been completely wrong about at least two of his leaks. Be careful where you get your news. Yes, although EV Leaks has made mistakes in the past, he has a better track record than most. And here he's claiming that the Prime M8 will be made of a special material. It will be made of an exotic material, a composite of aluminum and liquid silicone. Why would they make this change? We're not sure, but we believe the design would provide better heat dispensation. So for those of you who have been with me for a while now and watched the body of work that I've done on other channels, you will know that I've interviewed some of the highest profile people in the tech industry, right from Facebook to Tumblr to even Google. Yes, that's right. And they made one thing painfully clear about the industry, that there is a lack of people who have both the technical chops and the real world experience. That's right. What did Jose say that you absolutely needed to get a job in this industry? But more than anything, what's truly important is experience and then uh, a, a, a portfolio that can be demonstrated. Yes, that's right. A body of work that proves you know what you're talking about. That's why I loved our sponsor this week, Full Sail University. Full Sail offers an on-campus software development bachelor's degree program that teaches programming fundamentals through project-based coursework, allowing students to graduate with multiple completed software products. All students have hands-on access to technology from day one. They receive a laptop computer at an institutional discount, along with relevant software and tools. If you watch YouTube videos on a regular basis about a mobile operating system, I'm just saying, tech may be your calling. Visit fullsale.edu forward slash authority. 
Now the LG G3 is less than a week away from officially being unveiled, but that's not stopping the rumor train from chugging along. While previous reports seem to make it clear we won't be seeing a Snapdragon 805, the slides here confirm that the handset will in fact have the same Snapdragon 801 found in other recent flagship phones like the Xperia Z2 and the Oppo Find 7. Although we've seen a few leaks that point to a redesigned UI, we're still not completely sure how extensive this overhaul will be. More than likely, there could be a few other hardware and software tricks up LG sleeves. For those of you interested in more rumors about the LG G3, you can check out Lon's video he did recently on that very topic. Thanks for watching, Edward Army. My name is Jace. Connect with me here on Google Plus or Twitter. Don't forget to put your comments and questions in the Android Authority forums. You might win a t-shirt. You might even win a $50 Google Play card. Don't forget about my brothers in Android, Josh, Joe, and the Tech Ninja Kevin, Lon, and Chris. I shall see you next week on Android Weekly.